This is problem one of chapter 16 from the textbook Stats Modeling the World by the authors B, V, and D. So um, what we have here is just your basic bare bones uh, probability model. So that's some language. It sounds fancy. So this is just a probability model. And what it means is, is that there's three outcomes. So x represents the outcomes. You can have a 10, you can have a 20, and you can have a 30. OK, so you know we use that language outcome quite a bit in the course. So these are the outcomes, possible outcomes. And then each outcome has a probability associated with it. So the probability of a 10 is 30%. Probability of a 20 is 50 percent, and the probability of a 30 is uh, 20 percent. And these should always add up to, uh, if you, you added them, they would always add up to 1. So you can always check the model by making sure that they add to 1. Okay, so expected value, uh, we've used that term quite a bit. So we call that um, the mean. So let's say mu. Mu is the expected value of this variable x. OK, this random variable x. OK, and um, the way we get that is what we do is we take the sum of the value x and we multiply it times the probability of x, so times the probability of x. Okay, and we do the reason we have the summation sign is because we do it for each um, of the outcomes in the model. So sometimes we put a little subscript i. Okay, so what, in other words, that would be x1 times the probability of x1 plus x2 times the probability of x2 plus x3 times the probability of x3. Now, this step you probably don't have to write, but again, I'm in teacher mode. So x1 is a 10, and um, 0 0.3 is the probability, plus 20 times uh, 0 0.5, plus um, 30 times 0 0.2 and all all you want to do there is get your calculator out and um, go to town let's see I would use I'm gonna use scientific mode so 10 times 0.3 plus 20 times 0.5 plus 30 times 0.2 so I get 19 um, and sure enough, that is the correct answer. So, 19. That's the answer. That's it. So, we have two problems. So, we'll go ahead and do this one. Mu is the expected value, and we'll use a capital X for now. So, we have 2 times 0 0.3 plus 4 times 0 0.4 plus 6 times Point 0.2, you can see the shortcut I'm taking, and 8 times point 0.1. So you get, you're, I'm tempted to do this in my head because 2 times 3 is 6, right? So what would that do? That would be point 0.6 and um, plus 1.6 plus 1.2 plus point 0.8. Okay, um, and I just don't want this video to last too long, and I don't want to make any mistakes. So I kind of re recommend doing this. 2 times 0 0.3 plus 4 times 0 0.4 plus 6 times 0 0.2 plus 8 times 0.1. And we get 4.2. Okay, 
too. Now, um, you may you may recall that not we're not saying that this these uh, distributions are normal, but when we had a normal model, we're always interested in mu, but we're also interested in uh, the standard deviation. Okay, so again, I'm not saying that these we have no information that says that this these distributions of x are normal, but the follow-on question is, what's the standard deviation? So here's the formula. The standard deviation, let's start with the variance. So the variance is the standard deviation squared. So that's equal to the sum of each value, again, in the probability model. So we're going to use 10, 20, and 30. But what we're going to do is we're going to subtract off the expected value. Let's just call it mu for right now. Okay. And uh, uh, I believe we're going to square that. I'm pretty sure we're going to square it. And then we're going to multiply by the probability of x. Okay. So we know that mu is 19. So we're going to have 10 minus 19 times the, well, times the probability is 0.3. So 10 minus mu times 0.3. And then plus, what's the next one? 20. So 20 minus 19 times 0.5. And then plus, what was it? I think it was 30. Oh, we got to square it. 30 minus 19 times 0.2. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot to square it again. Okay. So let's see. 10 minus, this is going to be negative 9 squared. I believe that 9 squared is 81 times 0.3 plus uh, 1 squared is 1 times 0.5. And then Let's see, this is going to be uh, 11, right? 11, I forgot to square it again. 11 squared is 121 times 0.2. So back to the calculator. So you could use the calculator to do what I just did, but usually that's, sometimes it's kind of easy. So 8, 1 times 0.3 plus 0.5 plus 2, 1, 2 times 0.2 equals 49. Okay, so 49. So the variance is 49. So then the standard deviation is square root of 49, and we're going to use the positive. So it's 7. All right. So that was A. So we would do it again. We'll use this uh, formula for B. So let's see. B was uh, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So 2 minus 4.2 squared <coughs> times the probability. So let's go back up, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, so 0.3, plus, um, I think it was 4 minus 4.2 squared times 0.4. Let's go back. Yeah, now 6 and 0.2, so plus 6 minus 0.4 squared times 0.2. And then plus, the last one was 8. 8 minus 0.4 squared times 0.1. Okay, so this is going to be the variance squared. So probably the easiest way is to use a calculator. So let's see. Um, maybe I'll break it down just, well, Let's go for it. Let's see if I can do the whole thing. What the heck? Um, 
two minus point four two equals and square it times point three equals I you know I'm too much of a chicken one point four five two one one point four five I'm gonna do each term okay and so let's see now we have clear we have four minus four point two so you know what that's gonna be okay and then square it and then times point four so we get zero one six so zero point zero one six plus now six and point two so clear six minus four point two equals square it times point two equals z zero come back six four eight point six four eight okay one more so you can almost guess what that's going to be so eight minus four point two equals three point eight squared times point one okay so one four 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 one point four 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 so we just need to add these up so I've already got one point four four so plus uh, zero point six four eight plus zero point zero one six plus one point four five two equals three point five six so three point five six and then we got to take the square root of that so clear I think is it square root okay for this calculator you put the number in first three point five six square root is one one point eight eight um, seven okay so one point eight eight seven so I believe yeah that's it okay so that so now we have um, for this probability model we have um, mu is 19 and the standard deviation for that probably uh, that is 7 okay and over here mu, mu is 4.2 and the standard deviation is 1.887 1.887 okay so it's a pretty straightforward calculation you can see though that as soon as the numbers become not nice uh, it's much better to use the calculator to do the computations okay I hope that helps good luck